My name is Sally Kelsey. My name is Cameron Kelsey, and we run the Nine Quarter Circle Ranch. It's been in our family since 1946. Technically, we're a dude ranch. So we cater to people and expose them to the outdoors, specifically horseback riding and fly fishing. The ranch is around 1,000 acres, but we're completely surrounded by national forests. So we have around 2 million acres of land that we can utilize and ride and fish on. We host about 55 guests each week, and we have about 30 staff living and working on site. We breed, raise, and train all our horses here, and we have about 120 Appaloosa horses. They're good mountain horses. Our horse herd is one of the most unique aspects, I think, of our ranch. A typical day on the ranch for guests during the summer season, breakfast is between 7 and 8. Then our activities are 9 to 11, and you can either go horseback riding, fly fishing, hiking. And then lunch is at noon, and then there's a two-hour afternoon session, 2 to 4, to either go horseback riding, fishing, or hiking. And then happy hour, 5.30 to 6.30, dinner at 6.30. And then we have a, an evening event most evenings of the yep, week yep. from a square dance, softball game, bonfire, that type of thing. It's an interesting dynamic. We're trying to preserve the West and this true authentic experience that doesn't involve a lot of technology, yet run a business in the 21st century. The ranch is a lot to manage. There's so many parts and, and pieces of an operation like this from managing the hospitality side to managing the horse herd, the maintenance, the, the reservations, the marketing. There are a lot of hats you wear in, in one given day here. It takes a lot of planning to keep things going. We're 65 miles from town, so you don't just run to the grocery store to get a pound of butter. Like You've got to plan a week of meals and go get it all at once and not forget anything. So a lot of planning and uh, every day. You don't necessarily work on one thing all the time. You work on 50 different things a little bit. No two days are the same. We're essentially running a hotel and a restaurant and a horseback riding operation all at the same time with 50-ish people participating in it. Because there are so many parts and pieces to keep track of, the Google Workspace plays a big role in making sure we can stay organized as a team. I got my notebook, I just write it all down. And then I type <laughs> it. We have all of our reservation data in Google Sheets, and so we can see what percentage of returning families we have year to year, what our growth is year to year. We rely on it so that we know which cabins are available each week or whatnot. We also use sheets to manage our horse herd. We have our horse registry and all of our different logs for the horses, you know, vetting and breeding and shoeing and all of those things. In a nutshell, we're using Sheets to keep track of our horses and our guests. The reason we like Google Sheets is because it's a live document and we can access it regardless of where we are. Yeah, we're either here at the main ranch or we're at our winter pasture, which are 75 miles apart, so. Being able to use them in multiple places is pivotal. I think using Google products has definitely allowed us to be more adaptable. Being adaptable is the way that you're gonna stay in business, whether it's COVID or wildfires or whatever the big event is, being able to adapt is how we will be able to survive more tumultuous times. COVID is a good example of why adaptability is necessary. The first year when COVID came, we had to change our business plan pretty drastically to keep our heads afloat that summer. Being able to use some tools online were really crucial and us like creating plans and being able to pivot and, and change with the current situation to make sure we could stay relevant in a safe way. It's hard because people don't want us to change. The guests, they want to see it, you know, as they remembered it when they were five years old. But also being adaptable is critical in making sure you can compete in today's world. You're trying to balance this vacation that's supposed to be just raw nature, but run a business in a modern era. But this place is so much larger than our family. So many people want to see the Nine Quarter Circle continue because it's such an important part of their families. So making sure we can stay relevant in a way that we can continue operating regardless of what the challenges are or what we might face is important so that this place can continue remaining a special place for so many others. So I think the, the core of the ranch are things we'll never change about it. You know, the experience is about getting to ride in nature on horseback. That's part of the bones of this ranch. The rustic cabins, you know, we could modify them and make it, you know, a fancier place, but we don't want to. We want to offer an experience that is rustic and true. Those are things that make this experience what it is. That's the heart of this place.
The majority of our guests and clients find us through word of mouth. I think that the next biggest recommender to the ranch is testimonies that people leave on Google reviews. Like I ask every guest, how did you find us? Most people don't remember, but what they do comment on is reading Google reviews and then they say, but we looked at your reviews and they're all glowing. I think one of the most important things in running a business is laying out expectations for the guests. It just helps everybody know what to expect. We want to make sure we're lining out what their vacation will look like. They have to enjoy the outdoors and they have to enjoy being in a beautiful place. Hopefully they are okay with rustic accommodations and a true western feel. But if you want to come to a place and find community and enjoy a period of time on horseback or with a uh, fly rod in hand or, or hiking or whatnot, then this is a wonderful spot. I think being honest and upfront is very important as a business. We want you to know what you're getting yourself into and, and we want you to be happy. What we are doing here is essentially preserving the way of the West. So you come, you stay in a log cabin, you have a wood burning stove for heat, meals are served family style and really a community type setting. We don't have the glamour, you know, we don't have spas or that sort of thing. If you're wanting to see a true taste of the Old West, this is a good example of that. I think when people spend a week at the ranch, we hope that they walk away feeling restored and connected, whether it's with their families or, you know, with nature. When guests join us, they get to spend a week in the saddle. There's something incredible about being on a horse's back and riding in the mountains. It's a freeing feeling, and I think so many people could benefit from feeling that freedom, you know, that sense of awe. It's powerful. There's really nothing like going out on horseback and you come up and you crest over a ridge and there's a herd of elk out in front of you or a grizzly bear or wolves, mountain goats. There's the whole gamut of species running around. There's nothing like it. So I feel like we have this little secluded corner of the world that we get to love and we get to take care of and then we get to share it with others, which is special. Subscribe for more tips.